Hi guys, so it's Mr. Gogi again with another English lesson. So today, we are going to look at ways to connect sentences. You know, we have simple sentences. Simple sentences are a sentence with uh, one subject and one verb. And we usually feel very safe when we write simple sentences so that we don't make mistakes. But when you have conjunction, okay, when you have uh, ability to connect those simple sentences and to make them into compound sentences okay you can bring in more variety to your writing so how do you do that it is with the help of conjunction so today's topic is about conjunction so i'm going to make it very easy for you guys okay so we are going to divide this conjunction into two lessons today we are only going to look at coordinating conjunction coordinating conjunction and another one is subordinating conjunction okay because why we need to uh, why we can split this into two is because they have two different rules of when to use them okay so let's just look at coordinating conjunction so for coordinating conjunction we use coordinating conjunction to combine two independent clauses what are independent clauses? Independent clause means a sentence or a clause that can stand by itself, a complete sentence. So a clause, independent clause means a complete sentence. So we use coordinating conjunction to combine two complete sentences. We use coordinating conjunction to combine two independent clauses. Before we look at the example, let's just look at what are coordinating conjunctions. What are the words that we, cons uh, we consider as coordinating conjunction? So you might have heard this everywhere. Okay, it's very easy. Fanboys, you might have heard your teacher saying this. Okay, so what, what stands for fanboys is that? Okay, F for A is for end. N is for nor. B is for but. O is for all. Y is for yet. And S is for so. So, coordinating conjunction, you only have these seven conjunctions. Nothing else. So, it's quite easy to remember what are coordinating conjunctions. So, when you want to combine two independent clauses, you can only use these conjunctions, okay? So let's take a look at example now, okay? Let's take a look at example, let's say, end, end, okay? Let me write an example here. Ali likes to sing. Okay, this is this is an example of a sentence a complete sentence Ali likes to sing it can stand by itself it's a complete sentence now Ahmad likes to dance Ahmad likes to dance now we have two independent clauses here we have two independent clauses here now we can combine this to make it into one sentence so that we can bring more variety to our writing okay it's not wrong to leave them as two separate sentences but the more you write simpler sentences the more you write simple sentences your writing becomes boring your writing becomes chunky okay so in order to avoid that we use coordinating conjunction so you can write this sentence as ali likes to sing and ahmad likes to dance so by using the conjunction and you are able to combine two independent clauses into one complete sentence so this is how a coordinating conjunction works okay this is how a coordinating conjunction works now each of these 
conjunction they have different usage for example for is when you want to talk about the purpose okay and is one to you when you want to add extra information when you want to give additional information or when you want to give another information nor is to say neither the noun has anything to do with the sentence with the verb okay but it's to to talk about something that is contradicting or choices yet which is uh, which is talking about whatever that is yet to happen or anything that is related to to take place but it has not take place yet and so so is to talk about uh, consequence the effect of a verb right so these are coordinating conjunction thank you